welcome to the Strength Sensei's Training Center. We're opening up in a few weeks. Uh, we bought obviously a lot of equipment, but I also bought from Prime. Uh, why did I buy from Prime? Because they make uh, adjustments when I want to, they listen to you, and then uh, I wanted to. The big advantage of being Prime is the fact that you could target the load. So there's three pins per machine, you could target the beginning of the range of motion, the middle of the range of motion, or the shortened range of motion. Why would you care? Well, in physical therapy, sometimes the person can do the range of motion, and some points in the range of motion are still a bit painful. And with this, I can still work the muscles and target where the muscle is strong and take some weight off where it's weak. Okay. And uh, Prime used to make it, like most curl machine, was a V-shaped handle. And I asked them to make me a rotating handle. Why? Because, for example, if I do a curling motion and uh, my hands are wide, it's not the same as if my hands are narrow. Or if I uh, semi-pronate, it's not the same. Or if I super, uh, pronate, it's not the same. So you have four major elbow flexors, and with the handles, I can play whether I want to work on a long head, short head, if I want to work on a brachial radialis, or I can even do palms up on the way up, palms down on the way down, which eccentrically overloads the uh, brachialis more. Uh, what I like about it is that, especially when you train a lot of combative sport athletes, it's good to change the strength curve where it's something that is not perfect. So it teaches the brain to react to the environment. Typically, the biceps are weak here, get stronger, stronger, strong gist, and they become very weak as you bend the elbow. Well, I can, without the athlete looking, change where I target the load, and they may do a curl one set where the end is very hard to do, and sometimes I could make it really hard to start the movement. The big advantage with that is it makes them always ready. Okay? So I do play with target loading uh, tremendously, and I think it's an advantage. This is the prime seated row machine. If you train martial artists, especially combat grappling sports like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, wrestling, judo, this is a great piece to have. So we have target loading. So the top pin is the stretch position of the rope. This is the middle range, and this is the weakest range, which is the end of our motion. Why I bought one of these is that I train a lot of uh, combat athletes. I did seminars to uh, special forces, uh, you could call them tactical athletes. And I, I always recommend this piece because I can really play with the strength curve. So when you roll the machine, you could put more weight where you're the strongest and less weight where you're the weakest. If you've been, I'm sure most of you have done a chin-up once or you look at somebody who can't do a chin-up and most people can pull difficultly at the beginning and sometimes in the mid-range are not bad but they can't do the top range. So you see a lot of guys in gyms who do chin-ups like this. Right? They stay in the mid-range because it's the strongest range in that case but they're very weak everywhere else. So that allows you to uh, do that. I have also the lat pull-down version of it. So if, if you're strongest in the mid range, then the loading would look like this. And that would duplicate the strength curve. Okay? But I like to play with this because one of the problems with grappling is force. Yeah, you may have the intention to apply force against somebody, but they also want to apply force against you. So. If one thing I do with this is I play a lot with the target loading, so the athlete never knows what's really going to happen. I don't even let them look at where I put the weight. They're just told to do the reps and they go to failure. Prime has this option, it's an upgrade, where they put what they call a rotate handle. I like to call it the monkey grip because you grab it like this. But if you look in real life, if you are doing a takedown in wrestling or if you're grabbing someone's judo gi, it's not going to feel like an handle. It's more this natural type of grip. Uh, people in bank biomechanics in France will call it monkey grip or pulling grip, and it's a. It feels a lot more natural to the motion. 
if you look at the machine, when you do it, I can play with the angle of orientation of the pole. Okay, so I could be like this, I could be like this, I could be almost supinated. And again, for combative sports, it's good to change the angle of pull. I strongly recommend you get the upgrade, it's worth it. And the rotate handles, also you can put them on any pulley system and pull at whatever angle you want. So just as an accessory, the rotate handles are worth it. Uh, anyone who ever, you give them a straight handle, you give them a rotate handle, they'll know right away, okay, this is how my body's designed to pull.